San Francisco's very own Maria Torres is on the scene. And it appears she has help. A new hero, perhaps? No way! Kebu, Mom is on TV! What? No way! Her first big event! After she beats this villain! She'll be known throughout the city! Mom, you can do this! Citizens of San Francisco, it is time for radical change in this country. I ask for your undivided attention. If I am to be interrupted, this car shall explode and the entire bridge will collapse. If you blow the car up, you'll kill yourself. You can't be that idiotic and reckless. Serena. Ah, but are you willing to take that chance? <clears throat> Damn it. Now, as I was saying, we live in a country reigned by the rich, a country happy to enslave the poor, but citizens of San Francisco. Why should we adhere to these dated oppressions? We have quirks now! We can do whatever we damn want! Maria, what should we do? If I can use my stasis on that car, I should be able to redirect the explosion. All right, that's a solid plan. Should I create a diversion? That would be perfect. Hey, Jack Skellington. Huh? How audacious of you! Now, may I continue my formal address? Let me remind you that I have the power to blow this bridge up! Do you now? Damn you, Maria! So this is the Rat Doctor's Enclave. It would appear that the stereotype about rats holds true. As grim as his base appears, we haven't been much better off. We were based in a warehouse too. Just a few days ago, your past luxuries don't reserve you the right to patronize others, Jakku. Is it that much to expect decent living conditions? I was tempted by villainy because I wanted to reap the rewards. Had I known, I would be a homeless street urchin fighting against kids. Excuse me? I'm giving you one final chance, Aiden. I think your ideology is sound. Blitzer must be avenged. However, our battle against that kid, Owen, was a catastrophe. <sighs> I know. I genuinely am sorry, Jakku. You deserve a leader who's prepared to deal with potential contingencies. Can you trust me on this, though? If I fail again, you can leave. No questions asked. Hmm. Alright. I'll do my best to aid you with this next mission. If it succeeds, I'll want to be there to witness the spectacle. Fantastic. Our friend Genzai here is the key to all of this. Now. Let's see if this ratchet is as able as he's said to be. Ugh. So, Mr. Ratchet, I take it you've been listening to us? <laughs> Indeed. Very sorry to eavesdrop, my friends. It is just a business precaution. Yes, a business precaution indeed. I see. No hard feelings, Doctor. 
Precautions are important in our field of business. Yes, yes. I'm very glad you understand, Mr. Aiden White. You know me. I'm quite connected in the syndicates, you see. Anywho's, what is it you wanted me to do with this sleeping boy, Mr. White? Right, yes. You see, a target of mine somehow managed to steal this poor boy's electric generating quirk. Is there any way you could develop a substitute? Yes, easily, easily. No problem at all. <laughs> Those things, what were they doing with the body? <laughs> no need to worry, no need to worry at all. My RATs were just performing a snappy checkup. We're all good to go. Brilliant. So, Mr. Ratchet, what is it that you want in return for your services? It's simple. Simple, really. I'll need some parts. Borrowed from the SFHA. That's all. That's all indeed. Ha! <laughs> Perfect. Our interests have aligned then. Jakku, would you help Ratchet carry the boy's body inside? All right. Blitzer, everything is coming together. Maria will pay for what she did to you. I'll make her suffer. Whatever it takes! Here's the deal. We're all gonna enroll in the San Francisco Hero Academy! What?! Yo! Jack, the entrance exams, they're in two weeks! Wait, less than that! Aren't they next Saturday? Well, yeah, but we're all pros, right? We can get in for sure! Wait, was my mom on board with the idea? Yeah, she was the one who recommended it, dude! Sick! I'm in, dude! Seriously? How are you two so nonchalant about this? This is a big deal! Yeah, but say, your power is so incredible. I think you could do amazing things with it. Yeah, say, you could be just like your mom! Are you kidding me? How can you just casually bring her into conversation like that? It's only been six months! Six months? Since... What? Right, you don't know. Hey, Jack, is it alright if I get back to you on this? I need some time. Um, yeah, of course. I'm sorry if I upset you, Say. Call me whenever. It's okay. There's just a lot I need to tell you. I'll call you soon, alright? Say, please call me if you need someone to talk to, alright? Are you saying I can't take care of myself? No, of course not! I'm joking! See you around. It was nice meeting you, Owen. Jack, what was that all about? Is Say okay? I don't know. She definitely seemed distraught. I'm really worried about her. Yeah, she got really upset when you mentioned her mom. Did something happen to her mother? I don't think so. Her mom is an amazing pro hero. She was so cool when I met her. I think her hero name was Overtone. Overtone? Are you serious? Um, yeah. Wait, why? Jack, Overtone. Her sacrifice is what turned the tide in the battle. Thanks to her, San Francisco is safe once again. P passed away at the Battle of the Golden Gate Bridge. What? There's no way. I can't. How could I have been so horrible to say? How could I have not known? Jack. I'm such a horrible friend. Her mom dies and I reach out to her because I need help? What could be more scummy than that? Jack, you can't change what happened to Say's mom or the fact that you didn't know about it. But you can make a difference now. You need to be strong for Say. If she saw you like this, it would only make things worse. You're right. She said she wanted some time alone. I'll go apologize to her when she's ready. Thanks, Owen. We're both, like, really good at this emotional support thing, huh? I don't know about that, but... Yeah, 
The three of us are going through a lot right now, and the best thing we can do is support each other through all of it. Right. So, are you ready to meet my parents, Owen? Um, more ready than I'll ever be, I guess. Alright, off we go. So, um, Owen, I've got to warn you, my dad and my little sister can be a little much. <laughs> and, well, my mom can be quite scary at first, but she's nice when you get to know her, eventually. Uh, alright. Whoa! Jack brought a friend! No way! Is it Say? <laughs> it isn't Say, sis. It's a new friend. Aww! I did see Say today, though. No way! Ow! Ahem. <clears throat> Who is this friend of yours, Jack? This is... my friend Owen. So, you're Owen, huh? Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Well, Owen, I would like to know a couple of things. Are you a good friend to Jack? Are your parents decent people? What school are you going to? Why do you have cuts and bruises? Wait, are you poor or something? No. Are you a gypsy? Wait, are you a criminal? Uh... Mom, way out of line. Look, Owen and I, well, we want to apply to the San Francisco Hero Academy. SFHA? -A? No, no way! Excuse me? You. Me. My room. Now. Uh, yes, Mom. I guess that wasn't the best first impression to make, huh? Nah, don't fret. She loves you already. She just likes putting up a tough front. Wait! Hey, Owen, what's your quirk? It's kind of a complicated situation, but uh, I can create ice, for one. Ice? No way! Huh? Our ice maker has been broken for a while. You can be our human ice machine! Uh, yeah, uh, of course. Owen, you can stay! <sighs> yes, Owen. You're welcome to stay here until the entrance exams. As long as you two are focused on studying for the exam, I'll reluctantly allow it. Thank you so much! You won't regret it, I promise. Right. Well, how about you take a shower and get changed before we head off to register for the exams? Jack can show you where everything is. Yeah, sounds good. Alright, let's go, Owen. Dude, I'm so excited! Me too! Whoa, Jack! That, that's Zilla! Hi. <laughs> hey, hey there. We're here to register for the SFHA's entrance exam. Is this the right building? Yep, you can just leave the kids here. The registration process unfortunately has to be done without parents present. Huh? huh? Excuse me? Why on earth would a registration process be parent-free? That makes no sense in the slightest. Mom! Uh, well, I'm afraid I really can't divulge that. I apologize for your concerns, ma'am, but you can trust us heroes to take care of these two. Mom, you can let us do this. It's okay. I'm not a little kid anymore. Well, all right then. I suppose I can allow it. How long should I come back in? Mm. Well, there are a lot of students waiting already, so it may take a while. Could your son call you when he's finished? Fine. Good luck, Jack. And Owen. Hopefully the process isn't as ridiculous as their no-parents policy. But I'm really glad she didn't rip me to shreds. She looked like she wanted to, though, that's for sure. I'm really sorry about that. She means well. Yo, no worries at all. It's all part of the job. Now here begins your first step towards becoming SFHA students. Hey, Jack, does the no parents thing seem a little suspicious to you? Or is that just me? Dude, I was totally thinking that too. 
think this could be Aiden or the sorceress lady's doing? I don't know, but let's be careful. Hey, why have we been kept here so damn long? I've got stuff to do, you know. I agree. It doesn't make any sense that we're being kept here to wait for others to register. <laughs> Please be patient, you two. You won't have to wait much longer, I promise. You said that half an hour ago, though. <sighs> that should shut them up. I think I deserve a round of applause for doing the room a favor, you know? You expect a standing ovation for drugging people like that? Hey, it's not drugging if it's my quirk. Wait, why hasn't anyone been able to leave yet? Hey, you two! Come over here so I can sign you up! Your names and quirks, please. Jack Rivera! I call my quirk Drill. It lets me rotate my arms at insane speeds, so that I can cause massive damage. Uh, excuse me? Sorry! Well, my name is Owen Opix, and my quirk is... Uh... Meteo! I, I can emit weather-based moves. Water, lightning, and ice. Huh? Got it. Alright. So there's nine of you now. That should be enough. I think it's time. Hello, prospective students. Apologies for this surprise. Justin and Keto insisted on it. What? Yes. <laughs> Maria, I was so worried about ruining the surprise. Well, yes. It is quite a challenge for you to keep a secret. Anyways, students. The reason you've been kept in the registration room is because you're all going to be participating in the first wave of entrance exams right now. What? No way. No, I can't do this. <sighs> awesome. You now have 10 minutes to get changed into the exam uniforms and to prepare yourselves. Please follow me to the changing rooms. <laughs> so I guess I was right to be suspicious after all. That's why they didn't allow parents in. The exam started the minute we entered the door. But, hey, Owen, do you think we're ready yet? I don't know. I mean, I've only had my quirk for such a short amount of time. I'm really worried about losing control like I did against Aiden. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded a couple more weeks of training, but we've gone up against supervillains. Students should be a piece of cake, right? Jack, it's dangerous to underestimate people. But I was actually wondering, do you think we should try teaming up? Whoa, is that allowed? I mean, they're probably about to tell us the rules. If it is allowed though, I think it could be a pretty important strategy. It seems as though those two guys over there have the same idea. Hey, bruise and carrot face, what are you looking at? Yeah. They don't seem like the nicest. You might be right, Owen. Hey! Oh, hey there! My name's Noah. I'm terribly sorry for eavesdropping, but I heard you two talking about forming a team. I was wondering, would you be up for turning your duo into a trio? Huh? You want to team up with us? And time's up. Looks like you guys are about to be beaten up, huh? Wait, uh, I probably shouldn't have said that. Oops. Why do things like this always happen to me? The test? Now? My link discs aren't ready. My throwing is off. I'm in no place to win. Dude, chill. You're killing my vibe right now. You know they're testing how we deal with stressful situations, right? Emotional nut jobs like you wouldn't stand a chance against a villain. I, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize to them. Back off, you leeches. Fine. Whatever. Sorry about them. People like that really suck. I hope I don't have to go to school with any of them. Thank you so much! I have a hard time standing up for myself. No worries at all. I'm Fleur. What's your name? I'm Yumi! It's really nice to- And time's up. Alright, now that you're all here, I'd like to say that I'm really, really sorry about the circumstances. I didn't mean to stress you all out too much, but I thought it would be important to see how you all handle spontaneous situations like this. 
I'm Keto Kamikaru, the course lead for the SFHA Hero course. Hello again. You may know me already, but in case you don't, I'm Maria Torres. I'll be helping with the classes a bit, including with the exam process. After taking the exam, we would like you to refrain from telling anyone that you've already completed the exam process. You see, we wouldn't want to give an unfair advantage to the next few waves of applicants. I won't be able to tell Say. That's going to be impossible. And I'm Justin O'Connor, a.k.a. the Kaiju Hero Zilla. I graduated from Mountain View Hero Institute last year, and I thought it would be super cool to teach you guys a thing or two. Well, if you pass the exam, of course. The exam is based on a classic. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of Capture the Flag before, and it's just like that. The first four of you to find and, you know, capture a flag will be then admitted to the academy. Only four people will make it? That's less than half of us. The beacon built into your suits is a multifunctional bit of hero tech. It'll teleport you to safety if you catch a flag, and will adapt to the weather conditions of the arena. Those beacons are also able to register how much damage you've taken. Whenever you've been hit hard, your HP will drop down by one. Three hits and boom, you're out. We can use our quirks to deal damage to others, right? Sounds like someone is quite eager to hurt others, hmm? Yeah, sounds like something a villain would ask. Hey! To answer your question, Scary Dude, of course. Be as aggressive as you need, but you may be too busy dodging the pros attacks to do so. What? That's right. Justin and I will be guarding the flags. Now, let's reveal the conditions of the battlefield. Looks like you'll be fighting on an icy terrain. That should help you guys chill out a bit. <laughs> the ice stage? Oh no, I remember. Your quirk. It makes you weak in cold environments, doesn't it? The curse of being cold-blooded. Chu! Damn it. They dropped us into the arena randomly. How am I supposed to find Jack now? I could try climbing up to higher grounds. But then I'd be an open target to everyone. I is it really better to lay low though? I don't know how I'm supposed to do this! I wasn't ready at all. All these, these quirks aren't even mine to begin with. I don't deserve to compete against people with legit quirks. Snap out of it! Uh, wait. I said that out loud, didn't I? You did indeed. Ah! I've got to signal Jack somehow. Wait, my lightning! My apologies, was my quirk bubble burst too much for you? I'll try to make things as painless as possible! <gasps> Unfortunately for you, I heard you give away what your quirk was during registration. Whether it's your lightning, water, or ice powers, I'm prepared! Try me! Jack, I hope you saw the lightning. Owen! Ah! Mm, sweet dreams, rabbit boy. Ah! Howdy. Sorry about being a bit late there. Noah, you're a legend! Get these feathers away from me! Your quirk is insane, Noah! You can control your feathers? Absolutely! I happen to have a quirk quite similar to a well-known Japanese pro hero named Hawks. I've been practicing some of his moves and inventing some of my own as well. So cool! I wonder if there's a Japanese pro hero like me! I heard that quirks are way more common over there, but yo! Uh, let's focus on the situation. What should we do about her? Well, your quirk allows you to create strong pulsations, right? Can you create a sinkhole of some kind? Wait, how did you... Oh, right. We were last at registration. I could totally create a pit underneath her. Damn you two! Ugh, this is bad! We make the perfect team. Shoot! 
Wait, Noah, I think Owen's in trouble. Can we go help him out? Of course. Let us go. Maria's up there. The flags must be in the center of the stage. If I make a quick play using my link cord now, I could win this. <laughs> <laughs> Your quirk is very cool, Yumi. However, you'll need to do better than that to join SFHA. Oh no! If your quirk relies on objects that much, it's pretty much useless, isn't it? He must be charging up some powerful move! Quick! Good thing I always carry extras! Yumi Maya! Quirk? Link! Yumi can link any two identical objects and use them as devices that can warp people or objects between them. <laughs> ah! Alright! Whoa. She dealt two strong hits on him in one move? That's pretty cool. Indeed. I'm quite impressed by these students already. So, Justin, are you ready to turn the tides just a bit? It's s soon. I'm just getting warmed up. <sighs> Justin, your quirk lets you breathe fire. You have an easy way out of being cold. Sure, yeah, I'll admit it. That should have been pretty obvious. Let's do it. Uh, okay, let's try this out. What? Yes, all right, lightning. Ah, uh, damn it. Ha! You can't even control your own quirk, and you expect it to get admitted into the SFHA. What a joke! Ah! Uh. Wanna try hitting me again? Or have you already given up? Owen! Three versus one? You're all frauds! That's not very polite, Mr. Oliver. Owen, are you okay? So sorry that we couldn't be here sooner. I'm fine. My HP just took a little bit of a hit. You're on orange. A slight stroke of misfortune, but I believe in our trio. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. Hey, wait. What's that glowing light? <sighs> His quirk! He's activating his kaiju form! Oh my god! Yes, yes, Ratchet has done it again. He always does it indeed. When I'm done with you, finished with you, you see, your power shall be unrivaled, unrecognizable even. Yes, yes, unrecognizable. 